had a consultation there last week with somebody who was interested in getting into property development and they were looking for some advice from me and the advice I gave them was that if you have limited capital and even if you don't have limited capital one of the things that you need to be a good property developer in my view is imagination so basically you need two things one is capital and two is imagination and if you're tight for capital or have a sort of a shortage of capital or a small amount well then you need more imagination what i was suggesting and what i would do if i was going back 30 plus years to 1986 when i started out if i was starting again what i would do is i would look at the likes of pubs and commercial premises on villages and main streets up and down the country which have ceased trading and I would look to develop those properties into either residential or commercial stroke residential and by commercial stroke residential I'm referring to a retail unit on the ground floor or an office and perhaps residential accommodation overhead like uh, an apartment or residential accommodation spread over one or two floors depending on the particular property now there is a particular incentive scheme for the conversion of commercial units since 2018 into residential and you can actually do it without the requirement for planning permission there's also a new scheme which came in last year to do with boarded up and closed up pubs which can be converted into residential properties without the need for planning permission. And if you consider that the cultural landscape and the drinking landscape in Ireland has changed significantly over the last number of years, there's a lot of boarded up, closed up pubs in villages and towns up and down the country not only that but these pubs are actually in fairly good locations a lot of them would be on the main street in the village or town in question and you can now as a consequence of regulations that were introduced last year convert those pubs into residential accommodation without the need for planning permission now there is certain restrictions for example the pub must have been closed up for two years and you must leave the facade or the front of the property intact but other than that it's a pretty liberal scheme insofar as you can convert a closed up pub into residential accommodation without the need for planning permission and we all know if you do do any sort of property development or any sort of a an extension on your own house or anything else dealing with the planning authorities can be a significant cause of delay but there's no need for planning permission with these boarded up commercial properties or boarded up pubs, closed down pubs since the introduction of these regulations. So I think it's well worth have, having a look at. Now, as it happened, I had a consultation last week and that was the sort of advice I was giving to the person with whom I was speaking. And then this morning I saw in the Irish Times that there was a report there that 53 pubs in the last 10 months have applied for this scheme so since the introduction of the scheme which was about 10 months ago 53 pubs have applied to be converted from commercial to residential and they don't need planning permission hope you find this video useful if you do i'd appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below and you may be interested in subscribing to my youtube channel i make videos primarily about irish law irish business property and so on and sometimes i dip into other stuff as well the occasional drone video the occasional political video but generally small business property and uh, irish law hope you find this useful if you do you might give it a thumbs up thanks a lot